Hey everybody, today's video is dedicated to the balance triangle. The balance triangle refers to three elements that naturally keep each other in check. One doesn't become too prevalent, and if one is too strong at the moment, then its counter takes it in control, keeps it from going overboard. Like let's say you got fire, water, and plant, and the developers make the water too strong, then the plant players will come in with the presumably that their counter effect is stronger than however overpowered the water is. And so the water becomes too prevalent, plants then grow in population to counter that. Then because the plants grow in population, the fire types are still able to be played without always losing, since they're going to counter the plant types and at least win that matchup. Moving to Gwent, Gwent has its three balancing factors, that is power, uh, resistance, and control. So the power type counters the uh, resistance type, and the resistance type counters the control type because its explicit purpose is to be resistant to control, and the control beats the power type. Control destroys the units that you, the opponent wants to buff, the opponent that is buffing, is generating more power on the board than the resistance. The resistance cards usually create more resistance than the control player can deal with. Or their control cards become completely useless. Azure's Thunder on a unit that has Quen on it is basically negated, negated, while Quen will usually affect more than one unit, meaning that it's still resist. you still have more resistances left than control cards were played. You kind of see the theme here. There are also hybrid cards, and I'm gonna give you guys a challenge. Can you guess a card that is a hybrid of both buffing, resistance, and control, and is a bronze unit? I'll let you guys think about it a little bit, and I'm gonna reveal at least one example at the end. If you find out another example of that, post it in the comments and we can talk about it, I guess, and I'll you know give you a thumbs up. Without further ado, we're going to look at some of the hybrids. Not a hybrid of all three, but a hybrid of two of these qualities. One is the Dwarf up here. He does damage to a unit, control, and he does buffing of himself, which is power. Control, power, hybrid. Then you have the Mahakaman Guard down here. He buffs a unit, power, and he's resistant to weather, and I presumably all weather in the coming patch. So he's a resistance power hybrid. The Drowner here moves the unit to a siege row where presumably you have torrential rain or you're gonna lacerate. That's control and is immune to weather, which is resistant. So you have a control, control resistant card, a hybrid. Now I'm gonna pause. These are three hybrids. They're not, it's not always clear how they counter each other, but I'm gonna let you guys think a little bit about what would a what is a card, a bronze card, that incorporates all three of these factors to make a three-way hybrid. And if you need more time, you can pause the video. I'm gonna start in three, two, one. So the, per, the hybrid of all three factors would be the Wild Hunt Warrior. It's resistant to weather. It does damage, and it can buff itself. So, power, control, resistance. That is one of the examples I can think of off the top of my head that incorporates all three of the balance triangle and Gwent. Moving forward, I kind of think that Gwent needs to work a little bit on the hybrid balance triangle. I think that they need to make sure that these properly counter in the right direction so that certain hybrids don't become too prevalent. Yes, these counter each other pretty clearly, but these counter each other less. And if one of them become too powerful, it's not really clear how you're gonna counter it. One of the benefits of using a hybrid is that it splits off its weaknesses. By building both control and value, you can at least deal with some cards that you have to control because you have control in your deck while still generating power. These cards generate a lot of, they're very, they're often very flexible and they're often, I'm not saying that these th three cards in particular are overpowered, but I think that the hybrid cards are a little 
they they need some more fine tuning in Gwent before it's obvious whether or not they work. If you know what I mean. Without further ado, I'm kind of done with the video now. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for watching.